Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. Power does what it wants. Hey guys, Rogue Nation here with you. We're in Danbury, Connecticut today. It's uh, Wednesday, July 7th, 2021. About uh, 10.45 or so, 10.50. I'm out here today with Tyrant Slayer Studios. We're going to come here to the Danbury City Hall and uh, see if they respect our right to record in public. See what they got going on. What can I do for you guys? Hello. Uh, I'm just a journalist in the area. Just come to check out the publicly accessible areas of our uh, city buildings. How are you? All right. Maybe get a couple record requests, something like that. Thank you. Come on. Hi. I'm here for COVID. COVID. All right, guys. So here in the Danbury Municipal Offices on the first floor, you can see building, health and human services, second floor got financing, tax collector, town clerk. I believe the town clerk is where we would put our record request into. So we'll have to go see the town clerk. Third floor we have corporation council, which is the uh, town attorney, uh, human resources, mayor's office, and the probate judge. So let's see, this is their uh, city of Danbury. Um, the city of Danbury flag. Now, do you know if that's some kind of like a historical bell up there? I would have to assume so, but I am not for certain. Perhaps the, uh, the gentleman here could educate us a little bit on the, on the history of that. All right. Just wait till he finishes up with these folks. I'm going to the tax Second floor on the left. Okay. This place is pretty busy. Seem to have an influx of visitors. Okay. 
Spanish here. No, he was here yeah, as well. Yeah, police recall. Yeah, the police recall. So it is a nice kind of follow up to that. To see if this guy's been educated. He wouldn't let him go into the building without first signing in and identifying him. And so he called the police to, to address that. All right, gentlemen. There is something written on the back. Are you guys in line? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, after you've helped these folks out, we got a question. video of all this already. Man, this place is jumping today. <laughs> yeah. I, I have. I was, and I'll ask you once they're through, but about the historical significance of the bell here. I'll see you, hon. All right. Is Sonia coming back tomorrow? Yes. All right. Not for the okay. 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 All right. What's your name? Francisco. Your last name? European. You were just here, right? Yeah. 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 That's all right. Here, take this. Francisco. You know, all the way around the bend down the hall on the right. Thank you. Okay. What do you guys, you want to go up on the floor? So I just got to card you in and give you Yeah, yeah, no, I just, yeah, the town clerk, we just wanted to do a public records request, but what I'm really interested in is the historical significance, because I know there has to be some kind of historical significance to this bell here. Mm -hmm. It's definitely old. Yeah. I can see writing on the side. I can't make out what it is, but I'm assuming maybe it was like in the first church or first schoolhouse here in Danbury. I don't know. 
All right. Well, maybe the, maybe the town clerk. Will. You could, if you want to go up to the town, you can pep, you can pepper them with questions. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I just got to get. Can you, these guys have waited long. Uh, I, 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 I'm being rude to these guys. Come on. Thank you, no. sir. I got a card there. It's got my media information on there, which is what I what I share. I'm sorry, you waited so long. No, no, perfectly fine. These people are busy. They've got, uh, you know, yeah, we've got time. That's my daughter's name. And you, that's your real name, Awesome? You're Awesome? No, that's my media That's my media name. That's what I go by. And the major's honorary. My cousin Bartholomew was in the French Foreign Legion, so they, they gave me an honorary title. That's great. My daughter's Lee. That was my grandma's name, Alina. We named my daughter Lee. Excellent. Yeah, and my... You, yeah, do you have a card, too? You want your... Uh, yeah. Tyrant Sire Studios. I don't know. Your name is sort of the bottom line. What is it? Tyrant Sire Studios. Can I keep this? Absolutely. And One of the ladies up there, that Jan will probably know a lot of the history with the, the bell. And I know this was at crazy. another site for a year. I, I'm, I was at the hospital nine years. I just hear a few months, but I know there's a lot that's been around the bend around. <laughs> All right, you guys. Yeah, I think she's so okay. Maybe, okay. All right, second floor. Yep. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, property taxes, taxes, you pay the tax collector. Right, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure if I have to go to the tax assessor. You can go to the assessor, too. <laughs> I think they're from the street. Yeah, you just need a car. You only need a car for the club and the assessor. Yeah, right. I'm not sure. Wait, what, you, yeah. What do you mean, Jim? What would you mean? Robert Bailey. D A I L A Y. I'm very certain. Take that. The assessor's on the right. Yeah, yeah. I talked to him on the phone, sir, but he cleared away, but who knows? Just make sure. Yeah. About that. And then on the left is the tax. Okay. Right. Thanks. You will. Thank you. First you won't lose these cards. <laughs> yeah. Can't put it in your pocket, huh? Yeah. You think uh, not returning a library book is bad? Yeah. I imagine. Usually, you're not going to have the little stick on ones, yeah. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, now I can read this up here. This is Bell Foundry, Baltimore, Maryland, 1890. Yeah, 1890. So that's where it was uh, forged at. The Freedom Shrine. So, okay, finance, purchasing, tax Town collector. Town clerk. Thank you, sir. Second one on your left. Thank you. This is the Hat City Collection. Danbury Fair Raceway, 1930. That's awesome. Okay, so the original town hall was built in 1970, so the plaque we saw downstairs, that was the addition to the town hall. This is the tax collector. There's the town clerk. Register of voters.
Hi, what are you here for today? Um, I wanted to do a public records request and also ask a question about the bell in the lobby. The bell in the lobby? Yeah, I was just wondering what historical significance it had to the town. Usually, I'm a journalist, so I go all over the country, but usually when I see something like that, it's because it was like the first bell in the uh, church or first bell in like the schoolhouse or something of that nature. And they've, you know, even after the, the demolition of the building, they've kept the bell as sort of like a keepsake. Yeah. So I was just wondering if there was any history to the bell that you guys had there. Yeah. All of you. Um, all right, so to look up the documents, you can do that on our first computer over there. Okay. Um, you just look our documents by owner name, so you could just type in the last name, and anything that has to do with that name would come up, and then when you find the document, they're free to look at, and they just cost a dollar a page to print. Okay, I'm looking for the comprehensive annual financial report for the city. I just want to look at it and inspect it. Usually, uh, finance or town clerk will have it in a book form, and okay. I just look at it and take. Yeah, let me let me see if we got the financial book. Okay. Well, done, sir. Okay. Yeah. There's a uh, map of Danbury, Connecticut for you folks out there that don't live in Connecticut or even in the United States. I got a, a lot of subscribers from out of the country. They like to see how this stuff works, how everything's put together. Marriage fraud is a federal crime. If you walk down this aisle for the wrong reasons, you couldn't end up walking down this aisle. <laughs> It's the vault. Yes. I've got two doors. I guess that's where they store the records. I don't know why they shut the door. I mean, obviously because of us, but I don't, I mean, it's records. I mean, it says right here, limit three in the vault, so. Right. Okay, do you need anything else? Or? No, just, I asked a young lady for the comprehensive annual financial report just to look at you it. You want to look at it? Okay. Yeah, that's all. This, that you can't film us. Out, and right. Not my staff. Well, anything we can see in public, ma'am, we can film. Excuse me. Anything we could see in public, yeah, we could film. Yeah, but not, not, uh, not my staff. Okay. The the right to free press. I uh, understand. Is the right to watch our public officials and yeah. disseminate that information to other citizens. Yeah, but I don't so, want them on uh, video, and you can't do my clients, the, my people that are coming in here. Okay, but well, that, that's just a mistake in, in the law. Yeah. Okay. I can assure you that I go all over the country and do this. Okay, so it's perfectly legal. All right. But for the counter forward, you can, you can have here. If you want to yeah. look at this, you yeah. can. Yeah, please. Um, I don't know where. If you want to look at it on the stand up desk over there. That's, that's perfect. Or if you want to sit over here. I'll stand up. I only, I only okay. need to take just a couple of, okay. of shots and look at right. it. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Um, usually the annual, the comprehensive annual financial report has got all the money. It's got the investment accounts, so it's not just the budget, because the budget is how they use to, you know, complain that they don't have any money and they need more money. Oh, there's not enough money in the budget, right? Well, the comprehensive annual financial report, this is the budget. This isn't, this isn't the... Let's see if it's got what I need in here. So if not, then we'll just have to make a request. Okay. 
I'm not seeing what I need to see in here, which is the investment accounts. Every city, every county has investment accounts, and they're usually in the millions. All right, so let's. Yeah, see, this is the budget, so it's just telling you how much money they have for the year and where the, and where the money's going to, that kind of stuff. So we, we don't want the budget. Correct. We want the whole enchilada. And they hide it by giving this to us instead of... See, this is just telling us what they actually spent and what they've taken in. Okay, so this might have it. It says in interest income, but that's not giving us the. Uh, that's not giving us what we want. Go to the general fund. And this is probably going to tell us what they spend on each thing. Yep, legislative assistant. So. so this is the money that they're spending. Mayor's office salaries. Mayor's discretionary fund. Uh, yeah, it's just all this what this stuff is, so we don't even need this. We'll make a We'll make a request. Yeah, it doesn't have what I'm looking for, so if I could, I'll just write out a request for what exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm um it's weird, but I have a kind of a phobia with computers. So, yeah, my wife, yeah, I know it's funny. People laugh at me all the time. But my wife does, like, all my computer stuff, email and that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, it doesn't have what I'm looking for. So could I uh, make a request, a written request for the information? Because, well, the, the CAFR is the Comprehensive Annual Financial Report. It's different than the budget. The CAFR details all the money that the city has, like, it doesn't say anything about investment accounts, how much money's in investment accounts. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to make a request for all the bank accounts the city has and the amount of money in each. Can I ask that your camera goes that way? Because I show the private Yeah, we're, yeah, I'm not looking your guys' way at all. That's exactly what I asked for. Thank you. Excellent. See, this is different than the, than the budget. Again, the budget is money that they've been right. allocated. Right. But this is all the money that they have, which is different than the budget. Right. So let's see where we can find the investment accounts, and you'll see exactly how much money Danbury, Connecticut has. See this when they cry about not having the money in the budget. It always uh 
Okay, so here we have, on a government-wide basis for the year ending 2020, the city's net position totaled 90.3 million, a decrease of 10 million from last year's total. So the net position is they have 90 million dollars, um, which is less than they had the year before. So let's see, I'm looking just at investment accounts. But it's, it's usually pretty. Okay, da, 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 da. Net investment in capital assets, two hundred thirty-four thousand. It says restricted, restricted. Revenues. Da, 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 da. Doesn't say anything there. Okay, this is land. Investments. So they've got twelve million five hundred seven thousand six hundred fifty dollars in investments here. It says okay. So they've got they've got the deficit of eighty three million. With the asset of 173 million, which leaves them at 90 million. So, this is money that they they still have. Let's see if it goes into what they're invested in. A lot of times, the government's invested in government bonds. Proprietary funds, fiduciary funds. Okay, so investments at fair value, common stock, they've got 35 million. Debt securities, 9 million. Equity and fixed income mutual funds, $126 million. So total investments, $264,938,398. Right. 89 bucks. Yep, and their liabilities are 404000 So on their investments, we're at a net $282 million. Um, all right, that, that's about it. Very nice. Thank you, ladies. Have a blessed day. Thank you, guys. Get you. Thing where we yeah we don't want to turn those not turn those back in. Uh oh. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Uh, the hold us hostage. Yeah. I gotta say that went surprisingly well. Yeah, not too bad. And uh, I mean, you notice they gave us the thing so we couldn't like wander around, you know. Sure. This is like a hall pass. Go there, and then that's it. That's all they're giving you access for. So, I mean, once COVID's finally done with, per se, or whatever, it should be, uh, this place should be gone through again. You know what I mean? Just to yeah. make sure that you can walk through freely and, uh, and do that. Oh, with uh, Long Island? Yeah. <sighs> Can we go down, or does he he, he have to buzz it? Let's just, oh. so. There's a key card reader, so that's kind of indicative of the fact that. Kind of a 
indicative of the fact that you maybe can't walk around the building right. freely. You know what I mean? Oh, they can stop you anywhere, including in the elevator. Right. <laughs> Just hold them in there until we get somebody there, and then when the doors open, there's five guys standing there. <laughs> Come on. Thank you, young lady. U.S. kill boss like oh, I never yeah. had in my life. We used to get the Portuguese ones and get the Castiasco mustard. We put the water in the air. The water in the air. It's funny, at first I feel like we're on the first hall of the golf course and it's like a 18 off in front of people. <laughs>